Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Kohalim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechachadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Jachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, there's a Maryland couple that went over there to um, to Mecca, the pilgrimage or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, hey, they went over there, man, and, and, and the Lord took them away from here. Called them spirits back up, man. It says a Maryland couple. Hey, I, I, I think the numbers is in shit. I don't even know if it hit like 2,000 people or so that was, you know, uh, passing away from heat. Heat strokes, heat exhaustion, whatever. But it says Maryland couple on lifelong dream trip among hundreds who died during extreme heat on religious religious pilgrimage to Mecca. Yeah, I know damn business going over there. Hey, the Lord got them. It says a couple from Maryland died during the year's Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca in Saudi Arabia amid extreme heat. The deaths of Asatu Tejan Wuri. 65 and now Lou Ducey Wuri, I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong. 71 were confirmed by their daughter in this um, interview with CNN. All we know is that it was natural causes, and someone from the U.S. Embassy advised that the natural causes could have been due to heat stroke. Said um, the daughter said, based on the temperature, people were saying it was 110 degrees. There are millions of people. And they have a walk and they have to walk long hours. She explained that her parents had dreamed of making the pilgrimage for a lifetime and had saved twenty three thousand dollars for a tour package through a travel operator. They saved their whole lives for this. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You put that kind of money into going over there to do that, man, to worship a damn idol. And the Lord got 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 at them, man. The family reportedly received a call from someone in the travel group um, informing them that the couple went missing on Mount Arafat doing prayers and had not returned to their, their hotel. Attempts to reach them by phone were unsuccessful. She told CNN that before their deaths, she had been in touch with her parents and learned that the tour company allegedly lacked proper credentials and transportation for the journey. She believed her parents were unprepared for the trip, which included 100 fellow travelers in the group. CNN did not name the tour company, but it was reported to be registered in Maryland and did not respond to requests for comment. Upon confirmation of the parents' um, deaths via the U.S. Consulate General's Office in Saudi Arabia, she learned that they had already been buried. Damn, they didn't even get the damn. They didn't even get the bodies back here, and they did do that pretty quick too, cause um they 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 pretty much um buried people right there, you know um from what I was hearing, it says we did ask the Saudi government to hold the bodies in order for us to travel to Saudi Arabia to at least give their give them the proper burial with their children being present and to be able to identify the bodies, she said unfortunately. They had already been buried. Wow, bro. According to CNN, Saudi and her family hoped to meet with the American officials upon the arrival in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia to locate her parents' burial site. Angela also Brooks, a U.S. Senate ca um, candidate, also confirmed uh, their deaths. Noting involvement in her campaign. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's hey, that's that's crazy, man. Yeah, they say um thirteen hundred people died. It says the pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca is a, a right that adult Muslims must make at least once in their lifetime, right? So hey, they 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 went once and they they not going back. That's it, man. And let's get a quick scripture real quick. Because what does the Lord say? You Jake, man. We're not Muslims, man. They, our father is Yahweh. 
And our true savior is Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the father and son. Yahweh meaning he exists. And Yahweh Shai meaning he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew, man. We are not no damn Slaki. We are not no Muslims, man. 1144. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, let's get the law, though. Very dangerous, man. Exodus um, chapter 20. And I'm going to start at, uh, let me see here. Uh, let me just start from the top. Verse 1. And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, Yahweh thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, Yahweh, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Right? And this is the reason why, you know, we're, we're in, you know, in such a bad state as a people. You know, our, you know Jake, man, worshiping everything except for the Lord God. Worshiping everything except for the Lord, man. And you know, hey, I'm 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 thankful the water, you know, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai giving me a spark and waking me up to this truth. You know? And I'm praying that, you know, hey, I'm I'm you know, I I, I just want to be exactly what he wants me to be. I I pray that I can get a new body where I never disappoint him ever again. That's that's my main goal. That's what I want. I get, you know, get get one of them new bodies where them, them, them law, statutes, and commandments are written on my mind and my heart where I would never disappoint him ever, ever, ever again, man, to come out of this, this flesh. For real, man. But that's crazy that they went all the way over there. They saved up $20, $23,000? Bro. That's a lot of money, man. Anyway, let's get um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Yeah, the Lord judged them, man, right there. You, you you saved up for a lifetime to 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 just catch it bad, man. They just threw you right in the ground, right over there. You ain't even get to, you know, they didn't even get you get you to your 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 home in Maryland again. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal, neither is there any. That can deliver out of my hand, right? So the Lord, hey, hey, gave him that business, man. You went over there to worship a false god, saved up all your money, all your lifetime, you know. Go over there and 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 catch the business, man. Let's get uh, let's get this Amos three and six real quick. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? All those 1,300 people, man, of the Lord knocked all of them off. And the number's probably still climbing. Ain't no telling, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they was talking about millions of people packed around that, that spot, man. You know, they, you know, snatching on each other, you know, throwing. I mean, just just chaos, man. The Lord is not the author of confusion. That, that, that shit was that shit is chaos when you look at it. That's it's chaotic, man. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord done something real, real nice for him, and he set him right on up. Oh, this is the God you believe in? Alright. Allowed them to go there and, and and pass away like that. That's that's crazy, bro. Can't make it up though, man. This is a hey, the Lord is not playing no games. That's real judgment. It's real judgment, man. The Lord said he's a jealous power. And let's get that um, Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. Yep, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. 
fearful thing, man, to fall into the hands of the living God, man. I, I've been in some 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 hot situations, you know, kind of grew up in the South. And you, you had some of them days, man, when them temperatures would get up over 100, man, and they ate them. You want to be somewhere cool. You want to try and just stay cool and calm, man. I've, you know, all kind of, I remember growing up and, um, you know, people would be having heat strokes, you know, out in the yard trying to cut the damn grass instead of waiting, you know, to a cooler part of the day, so to speak. But that used to happen pretty often, man. That heat is no joke. And the Lord can use any element to take you out of here. That's the crazy part. You thinking it's summertime, <laughs> you know, and Esau are running around out here talking about some, um, you know, uh, climate, uh, uh, you know, you know what they, what they say, man, it's always been hot. You got some summer days where it's hot, some summer days where it's cool. But he uses stuff like that because I was watching the news and I'm looking like, yep, yep, they trying to, you know, they throwing that in the mix. They throw, you know, they threw that right in the mix. That was the first thing that they was blaring off the top of the head was, you know, um, the, 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 the CC, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to say it like that, like for real. But man, yeah, that, that's a, that's a sad situation right there. But hey, man, the Lord is not playing no games, man. That, that going, that worse, see that, that's what's going to get a lot of our people done up too, man. That, um, cause, uh, 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 you know, white Jesus, man. That that's one of the main idols of of of, of Jake too, and, and and two thirds of Jake, they gonna be you know, damn white Jesus believers Christians. They gonna flood them churches when shit um hit the fans, and it's not gonna help them, man. That's gonna be a lot of them um grave. Yup. You see, uh, cause I was I was kind of meditating on this the other day. I'm not sure if this was the, the book that I was in. Uh, let me see here. What was it? 22. No, I don't think this was the one. I think I might have been in chapter 22. Well, let me get this real quick, though. Um, Psalms 18 and 47. It is Yahweh that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from my enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. And thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king. And showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. And, uh, you know, just wanted to point out that hey, it's the Lord that, that that's, you know, that does these things for us. He's, in, you know, he's the one that's feeding us, clothing us, making sure that we have um, um, a roof over our head. You know, keeping us safe throughout the day. This is what King, King David was on point, you know. That's why I like to go into the book of Psalms, man. King David was on point with everything that he prayed for. You, you know, when you go off into it, you can really see that he was a, a man that was really after the Lord's heart. He knew where his power came from. He knew who, um, you know, uh, uh, teaches his fingers to war, you know, roughly paraphrasing. He knew that the battles that he was in, that it was the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, that, that held him down. He knew it. See, so all that idol worship, that's that that that's what uh, you know makes the Lord. He's jealous, man. That's like you doing something for somebody, and they giving all the credit to somebody else. That would that would piss you off, man. You know what I'm saying? These people saved up twenty three thousand dollars, bro. I don't know what kind of trip cost that damn much, but you could have stayed right here in the states and watched that shit from TV. But hey, the Lord set him up, man. Man's going. As a matter of fact, let me get that. Man's going's of the Lord. The Lord set him right on, set him right on up. Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Yep, the Lord set him right on up, man. That's scary, man. 
So I'm gonna end out there, you know, hey. Just praying for mercy. Praying for mercy, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.